the super heavyweights go center cage in this interstate battle. Rion Mahima from Absolute MMA Victoria faces Perry Santos from Lions Den Academy, New South Wales. Rion Mahima from Cranbourne, Victoria fighting out of Absolute MMA. Uh, height is 195 centimeters, age 32 with one loss at the super heavyweight division. And Perry Santos hails from Punch Bowl, representing Lions Den Academy. Uh, at age 32, he's 195 centimetres and making his amateur MMA debut. All right, this bout brought to us by True Serve. Super heavyweight bout. Over 250 kilograms combined, these gentlemen here. Some serious power in this bout. Going to be serious power indeed. We've got Rion versus Perry. Be interesting to see how this bout goes. And let's hope this cage is reinforced. Yeah, we better get ready anyway. Referee Steve Percival starting us off. Here we go. Touch of the gloves and we're off. Rion's going for that takedown straight away now. Very good defensively to start. Turning him onto the cage. Oh, Ooh, missed a trip there. Yeah, Perry giving up his back and now he's got Rion on top of him throwing some hard shots. Now, Rion is a wrestling up. champion. Underhook, he's got that underhook straight away working. It's quite the pace for some big boys. Yeah, frantic clinch work from both these guys. Perry doing well, getting, getting his uh, opponent against the cage. Yep, maintaining position, smothering him against the cage a bit. Maybe trying to slow down the pace of Rion just a little bit. Oh, nice break away and some big shots thrown. We back go. out in the open. Oh, a big wide shot there from Rion. Perry's turning against there. Maintaining control well, Perry. Rion went for the shot and immediately Perry's reversed him and put him against the cage. Now, Josh, you have trained with Perry, I believe. Yeah, um, we trained together, but obviously very different body types. So uh, I don't really get to spar with him or That's anything. That's fair enough. I can understand how that would happen. <laughs> All right, now both guys back out in the open. Perry looking to jab his way in. Oh, a oh, big yeah. kick to the middle. It was a risk to take, but connected all right. Hopefully he can use that cage to start working to get up. Uh, Rion's working his way into a side mount. Needs to get up on that knee. There we go. Perry turning, turtling up. Rion doesn't have his hooks in. And Perry still flattened back down. Hammer fists over the top here from Rion as he looks to grab a wrist. Bad position for Perry, but he's trying to work his way back up to the feet. He's got that cage to use. When you lean against that cage, it makes it a lot easier to stand up. As opposed to being in the center of the cage, you've got something to lean on. Excellent work, and he's starting to do that, but he's rolled back to the center. Now he's got to start again, start getting against that cage and start working back up. So you'd advise getting the back against the cage here, Josh? Yeah, I'd be yeah turning off to one hip, getting my back against the cage, getting up to one knee, and just bit by bit, gradually working, getting an underhook, and gradually working to get out and get some space. Yeah. Excellent advice, but Rion uh, on top, very strong, and a lot of weight there, so yeah, looks like we might see the end of this round in this position. I think he's just content to just Couple give up this round. And work on the next. Yeah, solid round for both guys. Round finishing very strong though there. A few heavy breaths. Yeah, heavy breaths from both guys. Oh, it was a good pace for some big boys. Excellent pace, actually. Excellent pace for both these big guys. Perry maybe injured his his yeah. leg or his foot on that takedown, maybe it looks like. Yeah, He's possibly. stepped up a bit gingerly. And that would explain why he was uh, having trouble getting back to his feet in the corner. Let's see what happens here. Doctors come into the cage. We'll see if Perry's able to continue. Yeah, having a chat, looking like maybe. 
I don't think it's looking good. Looking maybe a hot hand. Uh, it's looking a bit rough because his leg does, does Very look ginger like he's on in that a, leg. Yeah, he's in a bit of pain. He's not putting any weight on it. They're asking him the question. That's it, that's, that's it. it. They've called it. That's good, unfortunate. Good call there from the doctor. Yeah, we got off to a good pace to start. A lot of action. I finished up against uh, against the cage in the red corner, and yeah, that's the end of it. As he's gotten up, I think he's realised he's hurt himself. And uh, whether it's from the kick or the takedown, one of the two. And let's go to the official decision. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our referee Steve Percival now brings these two fighters to centering. Please give them both a big round of applause, they deserve it. At the end of round number one, the doctor has stopped the fight due to an injury that has been sustained. Your winner, please make it loud for Rion Mahima. And Wade from TrueServe, the very best man in customer service I hear, awarding the trophy to Rion Mahima. Tonight. A long way to come up from Victoria. It's time to take away a win. 